If you've traveled between Dorchester, Sussex, and Caroline counties, you've probably seen this sign. If not, you've probably heard the name on it, Patty Cannon. You've probably even seen this house. But do you know Patty Cannon's story, the whole story, and how it's not one that takes place only in Caroline County. So says Charles Dean. He's an Eastern Shore native and a local historian who has done extensive research on Patty Cannon. He joins us today via Zoom. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a little over 190 years. Actually, yesterday was the anniversary of Patty Cannon's death. That's right. She was found dead in her cell May 11th, 1829 familiar with the story what is she known for well she's not really famous she's infamous uh, her and a gang of conspirators were notorious for traveling up and down uh, not just Caroline County not just Delaware but into Pennsylvania and to south uh, kidnapping slaves as well as freed blacks and then selling them uh, to cotton belt plantations Sounds like she wasn't a very nice lady. No, and although some would say she was at least decent to look at, um, one could argue that neither man nor woman could defeat her in a wrestling match. Wow. Uh, so uh, that that's, I suppose, part urban legend. Uh, I, I don't know how deeply that could be researched, but uh, you have to kind of look at her as someone who could give uh, a man a run for her money, and that was a part of her skill uh, as a kidnapper. Patty Cannon's story has been told several times. There are even books about her, but you say many of the stories put too much emphasis on Caroline County. Yes, and, and that's really what I want to correct the record on today. Um, it seems that for some reason, uh, you know, tourism organizations, uh, the print media, uh, they repeatedly make the mistake uh, about that house and that sign in Reliance. And while the town, the village, the crossroads of Reliance is at least partially in Caroline County, uh, she and her gang were much more active in Delaware uh, and well beyond uh, Caroline County. And, and so in researching this and as a history student, I have come across uh, professor after professor, uh, resource after resource that wants to tie her to Caroline County. And, and while her and her gang were in Caroline County every now and then, the story geographically stretches as far north as Montreal, Quebec, uh, and as far south um, as Cotton is grown. Wow. And, and that actual house, the one that we see all the time, um, that location does have ties to her? The location, but not the house. The house that you see there today uh, behind the sign was built in the 1880s. Uh, Patty Cannon's house was more in the direction of Seaford. Uh, it was torn down in the 1940s. But that particular location uh, where 577 and 392 come together, uh, that was the site of Johnson's Tavern, and that is where uh, her and her affiliates would plan and carry out a lot of the nefarious activities uh, for which they uh, get their reputation for. Well, that's interesting. Thank you so much for clearing it up for us, and good luck. You actually have a Facebook group. It's called Caroline Past and Present. That's right. We started it two years ago. It's got over 2,100 members, and this and plenty of others are uh, documented and discussed right there every day. We will have a link on our website to that Facebook group. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Have a great day. Thank you.